So tonight, Dr. John Bookvar, uh, Dr. Bookvar, neurosurgeon, professor of neurological surgery in New York. Doctor, thank you for being with us. Good evening. What does that mean, that her color, her body was abnormal? Well, ultimately, she is a drowning victim, and ultimately, that means you have decreased oxygen to your body, both your body and brain, and that's a lifeless situation and one that needs to be resuscitated, like you talked about. Okay, now, uh, uh, hold on. Why would her whole body be an abnormal color, Dr. Bookvar? Well, what oxygen does is it, it, it gives you a, a pinkish or a red hue. And when you have no oxygen to your body, you, you become blue. And you've seen this in, in other reports, whether children drown in a pond or in this situation like this. Uh, with me, Dr. John Bugvar, also with us, Dr. Bill Lloyd, Dr. Bugvar, neurosurgeon, professor of neurological surgery. Doctor, how long would it have taken for Bobby Christina's body to actually turn a different color, to have this abnormal color? It could take uh, about as little as five minutes, and ultimately that's when the brain starts to lose its function. And so it's imperative for the body to restore its oxygen supply within minutes, particularly to vital organs like the brain or the kidneys or the periphery. Now, that's five minutes if she was drowning. What if there was another problem? Everyone you're seeing lifetime, the Houston's on their own. What if her ailment is not due to drowning? What if she had a seizure, a heart attack? What if she fell and slipped in the shower and hit her head? I mean, would she still have that abnormal color in just five minutes if one of those things had happened? Well, obviously, there would be other signs, for example, of injury or trauma. But if she were to have a seizure or a drug-induced episode, um, these would be masked by the effect of drowning, and the change in the body color could, could mask any other signs or any other signs of injury. Uh, tough question, Dr. Bugvar. Uh, if she had had a heart attack, would she be in a coma like this? She absolutely could. And if she okay. had a heart attack and was in the in the in the bathtub and now is, you know, a, a drowning victim, she'd be in the same state. In fact, it really doesn't matter what caused her to lose consciousness and to submerge herself where she couldn't get herself out of a, a tub of water. It it's almost irrelevant. The fact of the matter is the brain will perish underwater without oxygen in as little as five minutes. Okay, if she had had a heart attack, let me ask you this, doctor. She's mm -hmm. 21 years old. I believe she turns 22 in around March. Um, statistically, how often does a 21-year-old have a heart attack, a mortal heart attack? It's very, very uncommon. Or Exceedingly, un exceedingly uncommon. Okay, so... so if we ruled out very... if we ruled out heart attack and stroke, everyone you're seeing Bobby Christina's Twitter account and from Lifetime as well. If we ruled out heart attack and stroke, you're saying that regardless of why she fell into the water, her body would then take on this abnormal color that Lomas is talking about. Exactly. It, the, the color and the way the body turned is due to what we call a hypoxic state. And it's because she was submerged as if she was submerged in a, a lake or a pond. Um, this would be the state that her body would take. 